Hi, this is Nick Peterson with CB Motion Graphics, and in this podcast, we're going to be talking about creating a camera orbit null. So if you haven't done so already, open up After Effects, and then create a new comp by pressing Command N, changing your preset if you haven't done so already to HDTV 720 at 29.97 frames per second, and clicking OK. And there we have our new composition. And before we create our camera, we're going to create two objects that will allow us to see how the orbit null moves in 3D. You can set up whatever scene you like, but for this, we're going to keep it very, very simple. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new shape. And let's just use a rectangle. So you can click or press Q on the keyboard. I'm going to press Q because I prefer the keyboard shortcuts and then create a nice new rectangle right there in the center of the screen. And there it is, very simple. Press V to bring up the selection tool and click away. And now we're going to create a new solid. So you can go layer, new, solid, or press command Y. And we're going to use a gray solid and keep it the comp size. So you can change it to whatever gray you like. And there's our solid. Now it doesn't look like very much of a 3D scene right now. And that's because we have not enabled either layer to be three-dimensional. So we come over here into the timeline and click on the 3D switch for both objects. And then we're going to leave shape layer one alone. And we're going to make gray solid one a floor to suggest 3D space. So click on gray solid one. Press R to bring up its rotation value. And what we want to do is we want to rotate the solid uh, back and forth to make it look like a floor. So we're going to do that using the X rotation value. So click on the X rotation value and type in 90 so that it's at 90 degrees to our shape layer. And then using the Z position handle, click and drag it down. And you can drag it anywhere that you like. I'm going to drag it so that it just barely touches the white rectangle that we made. So there we have a floor, and here we have a white rectangle, and that suggests our 3D scene. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a camera, and you can do that by going up to Layer, New, Camera, or by going Shift, Option, Command, C. Either one will bring up the camera settings dialog box. Just accept the presets for this one and click OK. And now we have a camera and our two objects. What we need to do now is we need to create an orbit null. And you do this by clicking on the camera, which we've already done, and then going up to Layer, Camera, Create Orbit Null. And that's it. We've now created a null object that our camera is parented to. And you may be asking, well, you know, what, what's the point? Why are we doing it this way? How does it make it easier? Everything that the camera does will be relative to the null object. And everything that the null object does will be relative to the world. And sometimes it gets very, very complex trying to maneuver a camera around a scene, especially if you want it to be looking at a specific point. So using the, the uh, camera orbit null allows us to control the rotation of a camera without having to worry too much about the camera's position. Now we only have to worry about the null object, and it swings the camera back and forth. It just simplifies the workflow quite a bit. So if you go into the null object, press R to bring up its rotation value, and you choose the X rotation, you can see that it swings up and down. If we wanted to get that position correct with a camera, we'd have to do an awful lot of trial and error, or unless you're really good with math, you could do it that way. But if we wanted to get that specific look from the camera, it would take a lot of effort in order to get there. The null, the orbit null, allows us to achieve that look much, much easier. And if we wanted to swing the camera back and forth to the left and the right, we can do it that way. If we want to roll it around, we can do it that way too. So if we shift the camera over, there we go. We have a, a nice angled look right at our original object. And we can also animate this over time. So let's uh, 
let's drag the CTI over to the three second mark right there and press N to end our work area at that point and now let's bring the CTI back to two fifth uh, back to zero sorry and check off the stopwatches in order to start animating the rotation position so here we have our our uh, new position that we had moved the camera to and let's say we want to go back to the original so we're going to bring the CTI over to 215 and then zero out all of these values by clicking them pressing zero and then pressing enter and so we're now back at our original position and if you drag the CTI back to zero you can see it moves backwards press zero on the number pad to start a RAM preview and there we have it there's our camera move and I've got the RAM preview on ping pong so you can see it moving back and forth up here is the uh, preview settings I'm going to press the spacebar just to stop it and you can click through the preview settings to do whatever you need you can have an endless loop ping pong which is what I had before or just one time through play once so if you wanted to see it over and over again you just click uh, loop back and forth as ping pong and then play once is just like it sounds you play it through one time and it stops so there you go that's how you create a 3d orbit null object and you can see just a little bit about how we move and the things that we do in order to make those camera moves look much much smoother